This is the night before the big budget tomorrow of 2018. This is the last full budget in a sense since next May are general elections and some say even sooner. Either way, it's a major budget and come amidst a mixed bag of economic signals. On the one hand, high foreign investments and a booming stock market. But also, agriculture distress and a big worry over jobs. So will these be the focus areas of Mr. Jaitley's budget tomorrow? Some worry on the eve of the budget as core sector growth has hit a five-month low. Let's just look at those figures. It's at 4% in December. That's down from 7.4% in November. In comparison, in De December 2017, i.e. the month after demonetization, the growth was 5.6%. Poor performance in coal, crude oil and unfavorable base effect were the main reasons. Core sector data includes the eight key industries, crude oil, refining products, natural gas, fertilizers, coal, steel, cement and electricity. Well, also a look at the markets. The Sensex dropped below the 36,000 mark by falling over 124 points in early session on Wednesday. Remember, the Sensex uh, then closed eventually at about 69 points down. The Nifty also down by 22 points. Remember, the Sensex Nifty fell yesterday as well. Well, Vikram Chandra has more on what exactly the Sensex expects. Remember all the warning signals coming about about whether it's a Sensex bubble from the chief economic advisor as well. Vikram, it's over to you for more on what the budget impact is likely to be on the bull run at the markets. Yeah, well, Sonia, well, the markets are somewhat flattish today, down a little bit. But let's remember it's been a fairly considerable bull market, which has lasted a long, long time. It's been happening across the world, of course. The American markets have also been up, but the Indian stock markets have been doing really well, which means at this point, they start sometimes looking for an excuse to correct a little bit, to slide a little bit, and who knows whether the budget tomorrow is going to give them that excuse. Two or three things in particular that I think the markets will be looking at, is there going to be long-term capital gains? Is that going to be reintroduced in, in some way on equity or that period for long-term uh, long capital gains exemption being moved to three years? Is there going to be some changes in the, in the STT, the security transaction tax? Could there be something like inheritance tax or, or estate duty? Any of those sort of factors which I think really get the stock markets somewhat nervous or a big slippage in the fiscal or you know some major huge populist measures so yeah the markets have been doing really really well uh, and we're going to have to see whether tomorrow is going to signal a turning point or whether in fact it will be the sign of a, another big blow up up move who knows all possibilities are there